through their respective foundations, Spiwe Shabalala and Bokang Monjane Shabalala are leveraging their position in society for good. One of the outcomes is a book, Super Shaba, the African Superhero. It's a beautiful story. It's a story about a boy who grows up in Soweto um, um, and he, he has a dream of becoming a footballer. And when it is announced that the World Cup will be coming to South Africa, he decides this is what I want. Author and Miss South Africa 2010, Munjane Shabalala, authored the book. I think it's a story that's worth telling. Um, I think oftentimes when you get your moment to shine, generations afterwards won't know. Our own son didn't get to see him, uh, you know, uh, play uh, in the World Cup or even score that goal. And we think it's important for us to tell our own stories as Africans. That Spiva Shabalala goal has become one of the nation's most iconic sporting moments. He admits that the strike wasn't just for him, but for all South Africans and Africans. And now through his book, Sufa Shaba, the African superhero, Shablala wants youngsters who would have missed out on 2010 to be inspired by his journey through reading. Most importantly, uh, you know, inspire the African child and, uh, you know, create uh, something or someone that, you know, that will be a reflection to them. You know, this is, this is um, authentic and uh, it's things that we they're experiencing, we've, we've also experienced. And it's also an opportunity for them to be you know, a part of this historic moment.